So dietitian equals Jesus. <laughs> He's the ultimate dietitian. So how do you heal the nation? Well, it's very simple. You get Jesus on the inside of every person. And then Jesus guides every person their whole life from within. Wow. It's like you've actually solved every problem in the world, okay? Because Jesus is the ultimate dietitian, okay? He leads me to pick and choose and consume things that are perfect, you know, pleasing, Holy Ghost approved, you know, caring for the body, his house. Wow. Like, it's just like, yeah, Jesus is the answer, okay? And then Jesus leads me to consume specific foods, like God food, pure natural cocoa powder with water. Supp you know, I have supplementary foods to that this morning. I'm also having peaches, peach slices, okay, in the jar, ideally chilled. Peach slices and some oats, okay? Um, but it's mostly God food with the water. It's all in balance. You just... Um, <clears throat> so, dietitian equals Jesus. You can split that into the great I am. You can split that into the God's son uh, very easily. You can you can easily get the king. Dietitian has a lot of cool letters. that You can easily split apart into those um, famous titles that equal Jesus. So, Jesus equals the king. Dietitian, you can split it up um, perfectly. Okay? Dietitian. 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 Okay. Jesus. Life is at the center. It's fun to check them all out. Life is at the center of dietitian. Um, e, I. Oh, there you go. So there's a double I am at the center of dietitian. 2323. TC and IIE. And today's the 23rd. Okay. So I knew we were going to be getting I am gems today. Um, <laughs> that's it. Jesus is the ultimate dietitian, and it's all instinct, which begins in, which begins and ends with I am. The word instinct has triple I am, I N I N C T, instinct. Okay, it's like, do you want to heal the world? Jesus Christ on the inside of every person. <laughs> and then, I'm just here to tell you again and again and again, Coco first. Cocoa first, God food first, just like God comes first in our minds, okay, our priorities, our day, God food first, cocoa first, cocoa begins the word breakfast, it symbolizes the cross, which equals bitter, okay, um, <laughs> don't, don't listen to any dietitian that does not confess Jesus Christ as God, they are lost, they are foolish. They might offer you second best, but we all know that second best is evil compared to God's best. Okay? So, <laughs> Jesus equals dietitian equals double cocoa. Um, and again, why should you start? There's, there's a host of cool scientific reasons for why you should start with cocoa first. Okay? But the most thought, well... It's, it's so perfect in every way. God food first, God comes first. Cocoa begins the word breakfast. And cocoa boosts your oxygen. And we know that humans crave oxygen more than any other substance day and night. Wow. It's called the breath of the spirit. Wouldn't it, doesn't it make perfect sense that God would want to boost your oxygen first thing in the morning? Like, just, I love it, man. I love God. I've gotten so many revelations about cocoa, it's not even funny. Um... Mm. Okie dokie. Oh yeah, cocoa contains the double O, which equals peace. Okay, just like God food. Just like a pair of oxygen molecules. O, O, peace. The entire world is tired of insanity. Like as I walk through this kitchen, I see a stupid advertisement by Shaw Internet advertising lightning fast speeds. I'm like, who cares? If people don't have cocoa, they're miserable. I don't care how fast the internet is or gets. I don't care how fast and high resolution videos can get. It, it, it's not cocoa. It's not God food. It can't get inside me and boost my oxygen and make me feel terrific. Therefore, it's all a pile of trash. I'm just... <laughs> it's like... 
if video does not properly educate people or inspire people, then it's 100% trash. All right. Um, cool. Well, praise God. I can't wait to do weddings on this stuff. So, oh yeah, all white. God is all white. <whistles> Beautiful set of letters, all white. The three, the three letters A L L hook up with the three letters W H I to make multiples of five. A I L W L H, and then T E divides by five. Both of them, all white. God is all white, and everyone around His throne in heaven is all white, and everyone that is in heaven is all white. And God likes the letters all white so much that they're the most repeated letters in the greatest commandment. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength. I just said with all four times, which is the same letters as all white, plus the bonus E, five points, the number of joy. Okay, so I have been wearing all white every day for months now. And that's what everyone's supposed to do. That's what everyone's supposed to do. Wear all white, okay? Especially if it costs you your job, because the truth is your job was probably a joke. <laughs> and you've known it for a long time. You've always wanted to wear all white and be a man of God and an agent of love and joy on this earth. So do it, okay? You have God's permission to wear all white today, especially if it costs you your dumb job, which is a cult of darkness, including the police force, including all of the corporations of the world that command people to wear anything and everything except all white. You have God's permission to never show up to those places ever again just by wearing all white today. And do so with joy to the glory of God. And kiss the dumb, stupid corporation and the dumb, stupid cult goodbye. Even if it's the police force, especially if it's the police force, there's so much just... Any stupid job or organization or group of people that disallows you, that says you can't wear all white to work this job, screw the job immediately. Say you're children of Satan, you're, I'm out of here and I'm living a blessed life before God and he's going to take care of me and pamper me and give me everything in the universe. And that's the truth. Wear all white today and refuse to enter into any stupid relationship that disallows that. I'm here to set the whole world free from misery and darkness and depression and the clutches of Satan. There are all sorts of stupid cults and stupid corporations and stupid organizations that, that command people to wear certain things that are not all white and it's anti-God and it's not blessed and you have God's permission to never show up there and put on their dumb crap ever again, including police uniforms worldwide that are not all white. Stop putting your faith in humans and stop putting your faith in dollars and paychecks that come from stupid humans and start putting your faith in God who loves all white. God is more powerful and controls more wealth than all the humans in the universe. Wear all white today, never show up to that stupid job and be proud doing so knowing that God is going to give you more wealth and more pleasure and more joy than that stupid job and all of its ladderhood and, you know, chief dumb. You've graduated. It's called faith. It's called enlightenment. It's called knowing who God is and what he likes and exiting a stupid scene based upon a truth from God. Stop putting your trust in dollars and start putting your trust in the revelation and the truth about what God likes. He'll give you so much wealth and so much pleasure and so much joy, you'll be shocked. You'll be like, yeah, that was a stupid job. It was a total cult. It sucked compared to what I have now as I wear all white every single day. I am wearing all white underneath this jacket. And I have all white polyester shorts on. White polyester's quadruple joy. I've been wearing all white for months now, every day. At some point in your life, you have to do something in total faith 
say, I've had enough of this level 4.2 life. I'm going all white and I'm quitting my stupid job that told me I couldn't do it. I'm doing this in faith to the glory of God and I'm going to experience God. And trust me, you will. I promise you, you will and God will not let you down. You'll get more and you'll experience a better life by a factor of 10 or more than that stupid job, including the police force, any organization that commanded you, you can't wear all white in order to work the job. Walk off, wear all white today and never look back. Praise God. Hallelujah equals oxygen equals 90. Purifies. It has joy at the dead center too. 50. It's your day today. Today. You don't have to listen to any of the silly human voices in the entire world. If you hear from God like you're hearing right now and you obey the word, it's your day today. It's your day to wear all white clothing all day today and rejoice maximally before God in worship, on your God food, drinking your cocoa powder with water, abstaining from wheat and gluten, abstaining from anything that comes out of the dairy industry. And you'll be happy and high and God will speak to you personally like never before, like never before. Whenever you take a step of faith in obedience to the word of God, in obedience to what the prophets are saying, in obedience, okay, to something that you know that God likes that came forth from the Holy Bible, bang, God will start to talk to you and, and will lift you higher, okay? Don't worry about people. They'll follow you eventually. You just listen to God. You cling to God. Cling to God. Listen to God and follow your father. People will catch up with you at some point.